Every day, each of US plays two characters, the everyday self, who gets distracted and busy with the mundane, and the higher self, an exalted consciousness that observes, understands, and knows. These seemingly diverse identities are, in fact, different parts of the same organism that are intimately intertwined. The higher self, like a magnificent lighthouse, stands tall, firm, and emits a constant light of wisdom and truth. However, amid the constant turmoil of everyday thought, this guiding light often remains unrecognized and unappreciated, silently waiting to be discovered. Distinguishing the higher self from the constant buzzing of ordinary thoughts is a necessary step to achieve a mind in harmony with the cosmos. Recognizing and aligning with our higher self, like tuning a radio to a certain channel, helps us to hear its knowledge clearly and immediately. This is the way to live your life to the fullest. Our mission becomes crystal clear, we must learn to differentiate between noise and signal, everyday thought and the resonant voice of our higher self. By understanding this fundamental fact, you are on the verge of embarking on a transformative journey of life, one of fulfillment and deep connection with your higher self. Although the journey may seem difficult at times, the rewards that await are genuinely priceless. Aligned with the present moment, when was the last time you felt completely present? The higher self dwells at this level, now, the realm of pure and unadulterated existence. Its voice is most audible when we are fully present in the now, free from past regrets or future worries. This is not a fleeting moment of contemplation, it is a state of constant awareness of being one with each passing moment. Our higher self lives in the present moment, not in the past or future. It is like a boat gliding through the vast ocean of today, free from the weight of past baggage or the uncertainty of the future. It simply exists, moment to moment, in perfect union with the rhythm of the cosmos, the only moment in which true life occurs. The past is just a memory in the future, just an idea waiting to be realized. This fundamental truth is understood by the higher self, which recognizes that, by being fully present, we can participate in life deeply and truly. So, how can we connect with the present moment? It is not as elusive as it seems. It begins with a simple decision to become more alert, more aware of your surroundings. It's about experiencing, rather than doing, savoring each moment as it arrives, and letting go of the desire to control what happens next. Take a minute to calm your thoughts, focus on your breathing, and simply be. By doing so, you are gradually but surely tuning into the frequency of your higher self, connecting with the present moment, and unlocking a new level of knowledge in life. Thoughts and words focused on the present illuminate the path for clear communication with your higher self, like a lantern. There are no elaborate rituals or hidden languages in this mode of communication, it is as basic and natural as your breathing pattern, yet as profound as the world itself. When you focus on the now, silencing the cacophony of past regrets and future worries, you remove layers of distractions that often obscure our thinking. This clear mental space becomes a fertile field for clarity, where the message of your higher self can resonate loudly and be heard clearly. Consider the majestic oak, standing tall in its full glory. The oak seems indifferent to the leaves it lost last autumn or the acorns it will produce next season. Its focus is on the now, and it remains unshaken by time, robust and deeply anchored in the current moment. At this stage, the oak communicates with nature in a language that goes beyond words. If you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're at peace, you're living in the moment. Accept the current moment as it is, tune in as if you were listening to your favorite radio station. Communication with your higher self becomes as evident as a beautiful song on a quiet night. In the frequency of thoughts and words focused on the present, accepting your current circumstances is essential for connecting with your higher self. It's like a river flowing into the sea, blending with the vast expanse of understanding that your higher self possesses. 
Each reality, whether a joyful celebration or a painful lesson, is a step that brings you closer to the understanding of your higher self. Consider the events of your life as chapters of a book, despite your own story, each chapter contributes to the growth of the plot, shaping the novel as a whole. Similarly, regardless of their nature, each event in your life pulls you towards progress, towards the wisdom of your higher self. But how can we embrace contemporary realities, especially when they are difficult or painful? Acceptance, as many spiritual leaders and thinkers have stated, is the answer. Accepting is not synonymous with resignation or surrender, it's about welcoming the current moment without judgment, understanding its ephemeral nature. Accepting that every moment, pleasant or unpleasant, passes is one of the most significant decisions you'll make. Deciding what kind of world you wish to inhabit is crucial. Is it a friendly and supportive world, or antagonist and hostile? Your world is shaped by your vision. By embracing each moment, you connect to the supportive cosmos, which opens pathways of communication with your higher self, enhancing your spiritual awareness. Spiritual awareness is a fascinating tapestry of experiences, a twisted root of spiritual growth and discovery. It's a journey, not a destination. Each step you take and every experience you have is an opportunity to expand your spiritual awareness. Your spirit needs awareness, wisdom, and love to fully blossom, just like a seed needs water, sunlight, and care to grow into a flower. But where does this awareness come from? It arises by noticing the gentle whispers of your higher self within the everyday, being able to discern the slightest impulses, the intuitive clues that guide you on your spiritual path. What you seek is seeking you. This insightful phrase captures the essence of spiritual awareness. Your higher self is constantly communicating with you, sending messages, guiding you, and seeking your attention. However, it's up to you to tune into this celestial frequency and develop the awareness necessary to understand these messages. This awakening is not a sudden event but developed through mindfulness, which involves intentionally choosing to observe your thoughts, feelings, and experiences with detached compassion. It's about removing your judgmental glasses and seeing your world as it is, a sequence of lessons meant to help you grow spiritually. So, how can you expand your spiritual awareness? How to develop this awareness? It starts with a change of perspective, seeing life as a direction of spiritual growth led by your higher self. This requires adopting an attitude of learning and growth, realizing that every experience, whether a victory or a loss, is a step toward spiritual enlightenment. Remember that your higher self is not separate from you as you navigate through life. It is you, your most real, knowing, and loving self. It's the guiding light that leads you through the murky realms of confusion and doubt. All you need to do is tune into its frequency, train your awareness to discern its messages, and trust its guidance. As you do this, your spiritual awareness grows, allowing a deeper connection with your higher self and a richer, more rewarding life path. Expanding your awareness is crucial to understanding the advice of your higher self. By elevating your awareness, you create a fertile field for the seeds of wisdom that your higher self delivers. It's akin to adjusting an old radio, you need to turn the knobs to find the right frequency, after which the static noise disappears, giving way to crystal clear music. This fine-tuning on your spiritual path involves calming your mind, sweeping away the continuous buzz of everyday thoughts, and creating deep introspection of your higher self. It's about transcending the trivialities of daily life and connecting with the universal consciousness that unites us all. Think of it this way, imagine yourself in a room full of mirrors. Each mirror reflects only a part of your existence and shows you from a different perspective. But what if you could step back, widen your vision, and see the whole room, all the mirrors with your reflection in each of them? That's what expanded consciousness accomplishes. It allows you to step back, 
look at the big picture, understand the interconnectedness of your experiences, and identify the advice offered by your higher self. The cosmos is not outside of you. Look within, you already possess everything you desire. This is the essence of enlightenment, recognizing that you are not separate from your higher self, you are one with it. By accepting this fact, you'll notice that the advice of your higher self becomes more visible, intelligible, and actionable. Your path to expanded consciousness is a return to your true nature. And, at the end of this path, your higher self will be patiently waiting for you to recognize that you've been home all along. Tuning into the subtle language of your higher self requires a high level of trust and receptivity. It's like learning a new language, one that is based on feelings, intuitions, and a sense of knowing, rather than words. Imagine you're at a noisy party, the noise is almost overwhelming, but then you hear a familiar song playing softly in the background. How can you find that song amid all the noise? The higher self is the same way, amid the hustle and bustle of everyday life, the higher self speaks in a language that speaks to us, a language that is uniquely ours. Intuition and feelings function as our internal compass, pointing us in the direction of our higher self. They are not just fleeting ideas or experiences, they are meaningful insights that guide us in the right direction. The intuitive mind is a sacred gift, and the rational mind is a faithful servant. Our intuition is a direct link to our higher self, a tremendous resource that we sometimes neglect due to our over-reliance on reasoning and logic. We often overlook the immense knowledge residing in our intuitive understanding. In a society dominated by facts and analysis, our intuition can provide us with fresh perspectives, creative solutions, and profound knowledge that logic and reason cannot. It's a powerful tool for navigating life's challenges, making informed decisions, and aligning with our true self, and thus, with our higher self. A fundamental challenge in connecting with your higher self is distinguishing the sound of your ego from the whisper of your true inner voice. The ego, like a spoiled child, often shouts louder, competing for attention with its concerns, anxieties, and judgments. It speaks in terms of comparison, competition, and limitation, creating noise that easily drowns out the calm voice of your higher self. Your higher self, on the other hand, speaks in a softer, quieter tone, it is the voice of love, knowledge, and infinite possibilities, encouraging you to grow, be compassionate, and understand. Unlike the ego, which operates in extremes of right or wrong, good or bad, the higher self unfolds the colorful tapestry of life with its infinite shades of gray, promoting tolerance and acceptance. The ego drains you, leaves you restless or unhappy, but your higher self offers serenity, joy, and harmony. It's like contrasting the scorching heat of the midday sun with the beautiful softness of the afternoon sun. It may take some time to become aware of this subtle distinction, but remember that, like any new skill, practice leads to perfection. The language of God is silence, all else is poor translation. We can hear our higher self in silence, discern its voice from the noise of the ego, and divine counsel. So, the next time you feel confused, try to quiet your thoughts and allow your higher self to guide you home. By listening to the silence, you will find the path to connection with your higher self. This path is often built with persistent spiritual activities that act as a guide, leading you to a path of self-awareness and intuitive strengthening. Consider these activities as your spiritual workout, a routine that will develop your spiritual muscles and enhance your intuitive capacity. Just as your body needs exercise to stay fit, your intuition needs frequent use to stay sharp. Affirmations can serve as powerful reminders of your inner knowledge and potential, allowing you to connect with the energy of your higher self, gradually shifting your thoughts and beliefs from the domain of the ego to the realm of spiritual understanding. By repeating inspiring affirmations to yourself, such as, I am wise and capable, or, I am worthy, 
these affirmations help you align with the energy of your higher self, moving your thoughts and beliefs from the limited view of the ego to the broad realm of spiritual consciousness. Mindfulness, on the other hand, encourages you to engage with the present moment, to experience life in its most natural and unfiltered state. It's an invitation to observe your existence without the interpretive lens of the ego. By practicing mindfulness, you become more aware of the subtle impulses of your higher self, the intuitive whispers that are often overlooked in the hustle and bustle of life. The quieter you become, the more you can hear. These activities, meditation, affirmations, and mindfulness, lead us into the realm of silence, where we can hear the voice of our higher self. A constant commitment to these practices can elevate them to the level of sacred ritual, serving as a conduit for the divine wisdom within you. We are not solitary travelers in our journey through life but carry the celestial company of our higher self. This silent guide, our inner guru, is not something separate from us, but rather the essence of who we are, a stream of knowledge flowing beneath the surface of our conscious awareness. By narrowing the gap between our awareness and the higher self, we enter a state of unity, an alignment with the vibrations of the cosmos. This internal alignment is a transformative force, the effects of which can be seen in our external environment. This harmony begins to manifest in our relationships, professional life, health, and overall well-being. We may find that decisions come more naturally, synchronicities occur more frequently, and life seems to flow with ease and grace. We also notice that our behaviors, thoughts, and decisions are more aligned with our true aspirations and purpose. By entering this alignment, we assume a new role in our life path, not just as participants, but as co-creators. Our higher self acts as a compass, guiding us on our path, and we have the free choice to follow that guidance and realize our ambitions. We become active players in the wonderful symphony of life as we learn to dance in tune with our higher self. Once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. This quote captures the essence of our co-creative role, reminding us that our aligned decisions, supported by the knowledge of our higher self, have the power to transform our reality.